Greetings everybody and welcome back to Daddy the Grand, the Grand Daddy plays Hades and welcome to hell. Um, I think we have won with all weapons by now except for the sword, so needless to say that cannot stand. Thus we try out the Nemesis aspect. I mean, with the way the game is looking now we might as well try to get more attack heavy runs in. Hope for the best and see what we can make do with that. That aside, man, I really have liked the Chaos X start for the most part. There is a good chance that I would just like to go for Chaos regardless, even without it. But I mean, if you have the option, right? Why not just take it? Supernova, I want to see how big it is. That still seems reasonably large. The big question is now, how small will that blast zone be? Very, very bad dodge into that trap. Nobody saw that. The question is how big or how small will that blast radius be if we use that with double Nova? Maybe this run will actually answer that question. I would at least like the opportunity. And until then, we are going to enjoy our run. Let's see it then, girl. Uh, her attack, phalanx shot, and her eight. I mean, we are basically setting ourselves up for an attack every run here, so... Let's take the divine strike, hope for the best. And yeah, chaos. Hopefully he has something good for us. Hopefully he has something amazing for us. Hopefully he will make my day. All right, let's see what you got. This is weird. This one, I mean, I wanted to make an attack every run, right? But I kind of want to take this one because I know I won't be taking the darkness penalty, uh, darkness gain all that often. Nah, let's take it. Take the damage, call it a day. And I won't be able to earn money, so go for the darkness and the extra HP. And you know, I just realized that once upon a time, many, many days ago, probably already, it might actually be weeks ago now, I actually made a suggestion on the Reddit, not on the Reddit, on the Discord. I said, the Nyx keepsake. Wouldn't it be kind of cool if the extra health you gain from picking up darkness with the keepsake would just be extra health. And me now getting health from darkness room rewards, it's basically that, but better. And I love it. So yeah, feeling pretty good about that. That's okay. Alright, I'm ready to act. I don't want a common special, I think. Mm, let's strike the flood shot here. Much appreciated. And oh my god, that's Sisyphus! Let's go! Let's go straight for that. But I won't be getting money from this, right? No. Oh, oh I can gift him! Cheers, Boldy. Thank you for Hang on. Day or night. I was giving Boldy the em Okay. I, I didn't uh, know I can gift you. I thought I was gifting it to you. Boldy, how do you handle being trapped in Tartarus for all eternity, doomed to be pushed up and down a hill repeatedly for no good reason? Yeah, Boldy, how do you do that? Very, very insightful, Boldy. My god, guys, guys, I am touched. I'm so touched. I'm touched to the bottom of my heart. Sisyphus, I know you tend to be in remarkably good spirits, all things considered, but there must be something I can do to help with your predicament, isn't there? Oh, come now, Prince. Do Baldy and I look like we could use your charity? We're planning to stay put within this chamber for a while. It's hardly a predicament, I'd say. 
I swear, Sisyphus, he should start writing self-help books. That guy's attitude is amazing. But what of the Furies and their torments and all that? They might be back and make all this more difficult for you. Ah, yes, the Fury Sisters. Well, I wouldn't mind seeing them more infrequently. <laughs> but either way, so don't you even worry about me. Now here. Why, thank you. I can't actually take your money this time, so I'll take the health. Making up for my small slip and a prophecy foretold. I don't know if that is doing anything for me. It's Baldy in this list. Others of note. Doesn't seem like he is. But I was giving Baldy Ambrosia. Where did I even put that? Did I just randomly put it into one of his eye sockets? I mean, that could be a thing, I suppose. I'm not sure. Um, actually, put that in the attack. Excellent. And oh, there's Artemis. That Artemis could be nice in here. I am, as you can see, as you can tell, a bit perplexed by this awkward. How should I say it? By this awkward relationship between Sisyphus and his rock friend. I'm also not too keen on all the damage I'm eating here. But I suppose that's just the way that it is. Oh, he took all the trap damage there. Just stay put there and eat your own explosions when I deflect them back at you. There we go. Alright, let's make this work. I'd love to know about your life down there. I'll try and help you live through it this time, so that way you can tell me. Ooh, this is promising. The Artemis ad we had recently, and it was amazing. But let's let's take the special here. Thank you for your support. And go for oh yeah, we can actually now earn money. But let's go for the key instead. That fated authority will be worth a tad more to us, I think. I mean, if you look at Sisyphus, that guy has it all figured out, right? First of all, that man is smart. He was smart enough to trick the gods, to trick dad, to fool dad. God knows, he was not smart enough to not do that because now he's getting punished for eternity, but still. That is a very, very strong point to start an argument about his intelligence. Just him being able to pull that off in the first place. Second of all, that guy is in punishment and imprisonment. And yet, or maybe because of that, that guy is so strong, so buff, and still walking and living his life with a straight back, with attitude, and, I mean, he is living in a good company, I would say. Bully seems to be like a very, very nice guy, and so wise, man. I gotta say, Something's with this guy. Gone to summon Skelly on you, Thanatos. I got the message that you need assistance, Zagreus. Who? From whom? Who wants to be Who? Who is giving you? Oh yeah, one, not I. Thanatos, who is giving you these messages? Please tell me so I can fire that guy. Oh shush. Uh, there's a brimstone, and they're actually targeting Skelly now. And you know what, now that I think about it, that actually makes Scarly, uh, Scarly absolutely amazing for challenge groups. Also, I deal so little damage to him, I just noticed that. Hang on, Scarly. Look at that, my attack, my sword attack deals single digit damage to him. Also, Thanatos, you're in the way. Oh, I can, can talk to him. I want to talk to you first. Outdid me once again there, huh? <laughs> I have to admit, you're not as bad at all of this as I expected. Uh huh. First I found you, I was certain that you had no chance at all. Oh yeah, it was a very, very interesting moment. I seem to have this whole easy to underestimate thing about me based on a decent sum of my relationships. <laughs> That's In true. Case, I always welcome your appearances out here. I know it's not been easy for you, Than. Don't encourage him, Zagreus. That's fair as an assessment, I would say. But then again, it's never been an easy time for me. 
I know I have to do my job, but I don't have to keep on helping you like this. Then don't. What, you're telling me this is it? You're just going to leave me to my own devices then? I've proved myself to you something like that? Yes, please! No, you deadbeat. I'm telling you the opposite. Uh. Why do you think I keep on showing up? You may not really need me, Zagreus, but I will take these opportunities to help. I take it that's alright. No, it is not. Please leave me alone. It is alright. Okay, this looks awkward. And he's still here. Do you react in any way? Took him out. Okay, that's nice. Uh, yeah, I gotta be honest with you guys. I would absolutely love the opportunity to get Thanatos out of my system for good. But I don't think that will come around anytime soon. But we made progress. Hope I didn't keep you waiting, ladies. That's me. That's what they... What was that? What was that awkward delay, Tisiphany? But yeah, murderer is what some people call me. And by some people, I mean mostly you. Only you. 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 Always you. I can deflect some of them. I was about to say, yeah. Oh. Got some good deflects in there. Halfway through. There are some runs where I end up having a... How much damage was I doing with all these deflects? There's some runs where I end up having two debuffs within the very first floor. And I love these runs. My god, my deflecting damage is so huge. That's pretty nice. And yeah, now we are leaving Tartarus without a single debuff. I don't know how that makes me feel. Not that good, all things considered. Tartarus has proved unable to continue. So it would seem, take the money, check this out. We actually don't need any of these, but I will actually take the... I will take the Light of Ixion. Give Chaos his time to shine. An opportunity to amaze us. A chance to make our day shine bright like a Light of Ixion. There he is, but sorry, sorry mate, Artemis. I know I spent 40 coins on you, but if Artemis is offering, I have to go. Artemis has a few things I would like to see in here. Who's here? Hello? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, there you are! Sneaky son of a gun. Hopping around, jumping into the lava just to die. What a fun guy. There you go. I know that someone asked me why I never take the Cruel Trust Hammer upgrade. It's just way too slow for me. You found me, Artemis. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted, my girl. Give me that deadly reversal. Even more crit chance on everything we do. And I love it. Life Essence, I actually don't need that. Ares, huh? Let's try Ares, I suppose. Hope for the best. Hello. Oh. I could be persuaded to trying out going for slicing shot. He just died somewhere while I was busy doing something else. Uh, yeah, I am. I could be persuaded to getting a slicing shot in here for that taunting blade chance. Not sure if it's a smart idea. It probably is not, but it could be a very fun idea, to say the least. Perhaps you know of God called Thanatos. The two of us are very close associates, you know. I know. Do you give him my best wishes, should you see him soon? I'll keep that in mind. Battle Rage. I actually like this one quite a bit. Um, Don't like this one all that much. Don't like this one at all, even though they buffed the damage, which is nice. But no, let's actually take the Battle Rage in here. Ooh, this room has my name written all over it. That room has Daddy the Grand written all over it. And both of them are very dangerous. I will start with Poseidon for a change because they nerfed Athena apparently. And I want to see how hard. Also, I'm going to take the Poseidon Dash here. 
Yeah, I'll take it. Let's make some waves, right, Uncle? You'd choose one of my relatives instead of me. Though I myself was first to contact you. Alas, I must respond to you in kind. You know, I can't even be mad at her being mad about this because... I mean... I said no to her so I can go with Poseidon. I would be mad about that too. Okay, the shields are still mighty annoying. Let's put it like that. And the radiation of these guys, let's call it that. It can easily get under my skin. Almost literally. Oh my god, I just... Okay, guys, learn from my mistakes. Even this has been nerfed, apparently, supposedly. I don't go for this all that much, so I can tell how harsh the nerf is. But take it from me. Just don't go for this. It will next to never be worth it. That's my take on the matter. We understand each other better now, don't we? What do you say we carry on and get you from this place? Sounds like a plan, girl. What you got? Uh, I'm not going to take your wrath effect, Athena. We already had that. We already lost once with that, and I am not in for a repeat of that. Let's take the brilliant repost here. It is a condition, a precondition for her legendary. So I'm actually interested in getting that, and maybe, just maybe, we'll get something else that could end up being amazing in here. This fight is going to take a while. Oh! Damn. Dodging that shockwave attack is going to take a lot of practice. Oh! And it goes all the way, apparently. Amazing. There you are. She really wants me to have that, huh? Fine. Girl, fine. If you insist. If you bloody insist. Fine, I will take it. Jeez. I actually regret not having taken Ares' wrath effect. Overall, I think I actually do like Ares' wrath effect more from a point of what it offers you to a run. I mean, it's invincibility while still deal damage, but it is a much more safe to use and better telegraphed means of just avoiding damage, you know? The Athena one kind of feels weird to me. Let's put it like that. Stay there. Is he gonna die? Yes, he is. Blade Rush again, Curse of Vengeance. That one's pretty good. The will to fight. God knows I'm going... Oh, don't stay in the lava, you fool! What I was about to say... Oh yeah, I don't intend to get hit more than necessary, but of course me saying that now sounds like a fool's errand right after taking an extended stay in the lava pool. So don't hit anything I say for granted. Oh, this is nice. Thank you. And he's right. I actually turned off my time apparently at some point. That will not do. So let's actually turn that up immediately again. And interesting, here I can put on the god mode. I think someone in my comment section actually told me about that, but let's not tinker with that now. I don't think we need that. And our shop. We have a good amount of money, so maybe we will get something good in here before we start fighting. Shut up. I'm going to buy this one, actually. And... The palm for a better wrath effect. You know what? That might be good. We'll be needing that, though. Better wrath effect. 1.6 seconds of invincibility. Maybe. Maybe that will do the trick. This is not the deadly hydro chamber I expected. Yeah, I kind of miss the old one at times. Whoa. Man, I would love to have more than one diva. 
Okay, so far so good. Come out. The cool thing is if I deflect his bullets, they will now actually deal absolutely ridiculous damage. Got that one. Oh, this is rough. I don't feel comfortable about this run because there are just so many things that I don't use all that often, first of all. And I still don't feel comfortable about how this war plays right now. We don't have a second debuff, which is always a marker for disaster, at least in my book. And our HP is actually getting dangerously close. Stay away, scum. And he's, of course, taking a standard stay over the lava pool. This is a good part, though. Took out these two. No! Oh, that was rough. Almost took a stay in that lava pool. Not in the lava pool, the flame patch. Uh, this is my death defiance. I actually saw that moment play in slow-mo in front of my eye. The moment it happened, I was like, yep, yeah, that's my life now. Or my afterlife, rather, because I lost that death defiance. Come on. I mean, the longer duration is noticeable, but I still don't feel like it's good. I would rather have something that deals damage as my Wrath effect. I'd rush meta have that. Alright, leave for Elysium. And hope that we will see something nice there. You think you can just walk into That's the basic idea, yes. yes Can't exactly. even afford it because I don't have the money for it. I'll be damned. Um, keepsakes. Keepsakes, keepsakes, keepsakes. Is there a one I really want? I haven't had the bone hourglass in quite a while, so let's actually go with that one. Raid of Atlas, sure. I have some HP we can afford for the moment. And be on our merry way. Oh yeah, I was about to say, I am not having enough heat to earn a diamond, but then I remembered I already earned that. Uh, this is a reroll. That's a good reroll too. Seems like my cast is actually strong enough to finish off these fools. More or less. Which is good, because the sword, as you can tell, not necessarily the best weapon to deal with these fools. As you can see, as evidenced by that. Oh, there's a big one. There are two big ones, apparently. And they're gone. Please give me your debuff for once, Athena. Ugh. How can I say no to that now? Okay, we're still not having a debuff, but we have a legendary. And a pretty good legendary at that, so there's that. Oh, these fools. Oh man, I feel basically naked in here. Playing the game without a debuff. I mean, I do get the Doom effect every time I get hit, so that's nice, I suppose. But it's not quite what I wanted out of this relationship. Look at how slow the sword is. I can take a regular swing, that's also nice. I can take a regular swing without a spear hero just outpacing me like crazy. Let's hope that this hammer has something nice. And that's just one of the reasons why I just make an honest to god habit out of not taking the wall split up whenever I get the chance. Because it's even slower than all of this. Not even kidding, it's actually so it is slow. 
Oh, God bless me having some deflex on my attack here. I gotta say, it looked very satisfying to just mega launch his shockwave attack back at him. <sighs> okay, you want me the crew? Do you want me to have the crew address, right? Sure. If you insist. If you insist. Sure. If you insist so much. I mean, look at that. It's not even all that much damage. It's nice damage. It's an occasionally pretty high crit on a relatively okay crit chance. It's still not good. I would have felt much better if I would have taken the double stinger, but I already had that one apparently at some point in the past. So no point in going too hard on the repetition there. Not as long as there is still a quest to be done. By the way, I'm actually doing a surprisingly decent job at just keeping these guys from spawning on me. So much for that. Felt good for a moment about myself and immediately proved myself wrong. Now they are all coming back. Get this big one out first. Also, don't let that guy spawn as a spear hero. So, but steady wins the race, and hopefully we will find the finances to rebuy one of our death defiances. And forget about that, we are just dead. Hold still, you sword hero. Also, stay away, you bow hero over here. Thank you. There you go. That was not so good. That was not so good. There's no debuff in here. But I do need this to have a stand, actually, so let's take it. Ah, oh, what a fight. I lost the life and gained it back, so effectively I didn't gain a thing there, which is... Not to my liking. Not at all. heroes. Oh man, seeing these shield heroes makes me wish I was playing the shield myself. Oh well, maybe on the next run again. First and foremost, let's focus on getting the win in here. So that we can say that we have done all the weapons for this update already because I'm pretty sure there was a achievement for that. Let's see if he's going to stick to that. He blocked it. He just blocked all that damage. What a guy. What's in here? Oh that's good. That's very good. Getting that constant region for 11 chambers straight for that little money. That is that good stuff. Also, strong attacks will be useful. And I think this is gonna be the first shot. Yes. No need to thank me, mate. And I can't even afford all that much. Because I've been a big spender. But he will give me back a Death Defiance, so that's nice. A fine whatever time it is to you as well. Kiss of Sticks Premium. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Uh, we go for the additional level on something. I went actually super hard on trying to refarm my Ambrosia bottles. And now it would seem that the only one I can actually give them to is our boy Boldy. Which is nice, you know, I really like Bowley, I value our friendship, and I want him to know I have nice things, so no complaints there. One thing I find myself being able to complain about, though, is Divine Protection, which one was that again? Also, how... 
Let me check one of my settings. At some point, apparently, it resetted my settings. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, the boon info. It's supposed to be untapped for me. That's better. What was divine protection again? Oh, we got a rank. We got a rank in our legendary. And it increased. Hang on. You saw that? It said that my cooldown on that was 20 seconds. No. Wait, 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 wait. The regular cooldown is 20 seconds. It said 40 seconds. No. Don't do me dirty like this. Hang on, guys. I have to do a quick report here. <laughs> that's that's not Molto Bene. That's not Moe Bueno for me here. Uh, picked up an... Um, no, no, no. It's called Nectar now. Bottle. And it gave me a rank up on Athena's legendary. Set rank up. Basically doubled the cooldown. Which is not nice. Not nice at all. Uh, not sure if it is actually doubled. Or if it is just a tooltip error. Submit the ticket. That is not something that should happen. That is really not something that should happen. And now I feel stupid for not having picked up the other blue option. I'll be damned. But you can't know these things in advance. And you know, this is why the game is in early access. We are all here helping to foolproof the game and make it a better experience than it already is for everyone involved. You are welcome. Oh, man. <laughs> that's, that's actually kind of funny, isn't it? That's actually kind of hilarious. Hey, everyone, I'm back. He's here, King. Activating armor. It's fortunate repairs in your chariot were completed in time. Is it just me, or does his dialogue sound like he is uh, doing some kind of... What should I say? Uh, science fiction dialogue? Also, just look at his armor. He actually looks absolutely amazing. Man, uh, he is... He is flexing too, so there's that. Nonsense, my friend. We could defeat this vile hellspawn with or without the additional divine protection we've been granted here. Get him. All right, boys. Try to get me. Theseus is troublesome to deal with. So is Asterius when he gets all whirlwind attacky. Where's he at? There's so much explosions going on. Whoa. I think I deflected some of his bullets back at him. Yeah, I know, I know. And I lost a life, but that's fine. Okay, he's down at his 50% threshold. Where are you going? Oh wow! What was that damage? That damage was ridiculous that Pieces was dealing to me there. I'm actually amazed. Oh, he almost got me there. There you are. Okay, lost another life, not a fan. Let's some Skelly. I did. It's that damn skeleton, all right. Oh wait, look at that, look at that, wait, 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 wait. They are standing close to Skelly. Oh damn. They were both standing close to one another. I was actually so sure they would just go and kill each other like that. I would have cherished that. I'm actually so close to losing another life. Stay safe here for a moment. Okay, Theseus is down. Now we just have to take out the bull. 25%. Come out, come out, come out. My crew thrust is so bad. I have to go through the risk of getting three attacks in, in a row. 
And it doesn't even deal all that much damage. He died to my dash attack, I think. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh man, the sword. I feel like the sword and I, we will not be good to each other. Uh, yes, buy this one for certain. I think I will leave this one aside though. I'm going to sell the Greater Recall because I feel like I'm going to need that money. I feel like I'm going to need that money somewhat fiercely. And pick up my thing. Oh yeah, man, Skelly actually getting a repetition. Theseus is starting to recognize him now, which is very nice. And you know it's nice to show that I can actually just take Skelly places. I can show him the world a bit, introduce him to my friends and enemies and frenemies. And just show him that I appreciate him. I appreciate him being here, appreciating being a part of all of this. It's nice. Second marked. Clean kill, burst shot, heartbreaker. Kind of feel like taking the clean kill is going to be the best call here. Maybe I should have saved some money for a death of fines. That thought did not come to me in time. Oh well. How would I rank my odds of beating the game right now? Truth be told, I don't know. The sword, it really went from a potential game winner, all-time game winner, to a very, very up there weapon for me. I'd say it is a very risky weapon right now because previous world runs, at least to me, they were like, actually you get double Nova, or your run is basically doomed to be mediocre forever. And now Double Nova is worse than it has ever been. While most attack related boons are still pretty bad. That's, that's called as it is, it's bad. And on the other hand, thanks for taking him out. He is big, he is blue, he throws explosions. Even if you were to say that a double Nova build is still good and valuable and available, you would have still lost on that third hammer here in sticks, so the odds of getting to that point in the first place would be much lower now. So yeah, no matter how you're twisted, it's uh, it's a pretty bad scene. Change of plan. Athena is good. Athena still has a death defiance at her disposal. And who knows, maybe she has something else that I haven't even considered. Like, you know, an actual diva, which I still haven't gotten. Who else? Which would be the next point. We don't have pretty status in this run at all. That's just leaving a lot of potential damage on the table. I mean, we do have Mark now, but... Good luck trying to use that against Hades. And we're actually done in here already, huh? It's hilarious. There's the debuff and there's the death of fines. Now it's a question, what is more value to me? I want both, but... I think the last stand is going to be better. Thank the gods. And we're actually through in here. On the one run where I was actually willing and able to go through all the paces, I get the good stuff immediately. I'll take another. Poseidon? I'm going for Poseidon. He has a chance to give me a debuff too. I think I will go for Poseidon and I will probably go for Ares too. Just in the hopes of first being able to buy a Death Defiance and second getting the debuff of Poseidon and lastly for the small off chance of getting a debuff, a reliable debuff from a man Ares. I have the Lamia, it's pretty good. Should be useful. The rest much less so. <laughs> I saw your Zagreus, are you fine there? Having that weird start as he tries to enter the room. Hello. We're just going to take them out. 
almost would have died to that trap, which would have been bad. Would have been plenty bad. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not, I'm just not feeling this room right now. Hades will mean a huge amount of trouble. That would probably be the last point that makes me feel uneasy about this run. Arsenal's having a good, an actually good Wrath effect in here. Uh, Ocean's Bounty. There's a debuff, so that's nice. Now if we get hit, and if we dash, we will have privileged status. So it's a start. And I still want to see Ares in here, right? Let's see. Hello. It's just a fun paradox, man. You only get the fast clears here in sticks. If you are not sure that your run is strong enough to give you the win. If you feel you are comfortable and strong and just blasting through the rooms, full clear. Or close to full clear. That's just the way life treats you at times. I'm actually going out of my way and trying to get some use out of that cruel trust every now and then. And I feel like it has gotten me and is getting me hit quite a bit. I mean, that's a weird scenario. On one hand, I do think, I do think that the double special Swarfle, I think it needed and deserved the nerfs, yes. But I also feel like just nerfing it isn't doing the weapon justice. Again, man, it was, previously it was special build or bust. And to a degree, it still is, at least in my book. Because right now you don't have the special build because it has been nerfed, but everything else you have is still mediocre. Oh, I can actually get his attack. I actually can get his attack. And that means I will actually have two debuffs now. That's nice. That's very nice. I absolutely agree. I will miss the deflects. I basically said no to a duo boon now that I already had. But you know what? It seems worth it to me. Uh, Drift Dash, Flurry Cast. Let's take the Raider Haste, because I know I will never take that one. Well, you know what? I will take the Drift Dash even less, so... Let's get running in here. The Prince compels the multi-headed hound to let him pass. Move it. See you, boy. And you know, we actually made pretty good use out of Scaly. We used them in Tynathos, we used them on the... Beef boy fight, and we are going to use them against Hades now. So, pretty nice. Nice night, no? Oh, it's a very nice night, indeed. It's actually night over here. I shall give you no quarter, boy. Although I doubt that you expected otherwise. It's true. <laughs> All right, boy, I'm ready. <laughs> and he's gone. Got me with that stone. And he's gone again. I kinda wish they would have nerfed how often he duffs that. Hades! Hades, why would you? Let him analysis. Let him do the analysis. It will distract him, making it a bit easier to take him out. And he's stealthy again, so we will use this opportunity to maybe take out the shield hero. He's still around because he's a shield hero and he's annoying and a mess. And Aedes is gone again. Oh. 
Man, this shield hero. There's just no efficient, good opportunity to take him out. But he should die if Hades is out. Yes. And no spawning too. Okay, Hades, come out. Vases. Oh yeah, I forgot. My boy Skelly. You know what? I'm gonna see how long it will take Hades to take him out. Oh, he's doing good damage to him. He was actually dealing pretty good damage. Sorry, Skelly, you had to die there for science. Oh. Okay. Missed that one somewhat fiercely. Last chance. Yeah, so it would seem. Get out. Oh, lasers, lasers, lasers. Oh, I should have super gotten it there. Hold still. There you are. This fight was a hassle. You've learned something at some point in all this. Yeah, maybe I have. Maybe I did. See you at home. I mean, he isn't wrong. I learned plenty of things on this run. I actually learned plenty of things in here. First of all, thanks for the darkness. Let's have the narrative as bit. Alas, the wisely spoken Zagreus. Stumbled upon a pit of deadly spears, perhaps. Perhaps, yes. Oh. In my father's Even the sound effect was fitting. Pretty nice. So yeah, what have I learned on this one? First of all, I'm pretty sure the sword is in a pretty bad condition thank right you, now. Thank you, everyone. You're too kind. Second of all, I learned that I can <laughs> give Boldy alcohol, nectar. Oh, he has something to say, and so has he. You have been rather slow about your duties lately, Thanatos. And I'm receiving incident reports from Tartarus involving you. Remember your responsibilities. And remember, I am watching you. Now get out of my sight. Hades, that is not a way to talk to the co-worker of the month in here. Uh, always feel better talking to you, boy. Always feeling better talking to him. So I hope that this will trigger some sort of additional event with Thanatos. Actually, let me let me check out my pack with him really quick. Uh, Thanatos, there it is. Apparently I have to give him more alcohol at some point. Is that what it is? No idea what that symbol means though. Oh well, we'll see. Put up some nice music in here. Check this out. Nothing we want or nothing we can afford. Mac ain't here either. I still check the broker every time, just out of habit. There's probably not a lot of point in doing that, but I do. Uh, Alright. And yeah, we also learned that Scaly is surprisingly durable when it comes to taking punishment from me, but others can still kill him relatively quickly. So yeah, we are going to put you to good use, friend. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, that's the episode for today. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you all in the next video. But until then, have the greatest of days, and stay as awesome as you are.